What's up, guys? Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today, I want to talk about what's new with VIP Shop Management this week. Um, let's start. Well, first of all, obviously, you notice it's a black theme, so you can change the theme right here um, uh, to original if you want, or you can switch it. We have uh, three. We're gonna have a lot more for sure. Dark mode. Not just that. We're gonna have a light mode after that. It's just the beginning the ability to switch things around just to see like okay which one do i like um sometimes it's easy on the eye uh, for some people and uh just pick what you like it don't matter or stick with the original no worries here but let's start with what else is new it's not just the theme obviously let's start about the first thing first um let me just create an estimate real quick right here It's a new estimate and uh, so let's go and to AutoZone and get something for real quick actually let's go to part stack part stack because we can order it um, let's say I want an air filter right here and submit All right, so notice that you're gonna have the status for uh, for the part from now on. See how it says pending order? And then when I place an order, it's basically pending order means that, okay, you need to order this part. Just a reminder, it, it used to have, well, it still have that, like the icon right there, but it's better to see what what, what, what does that mean, like pending order. If I, if I bring something from, let's say, tires inventory, for example, and add, it's gonna say inventory next to it so you know what does that mean which is really cool but let's say I place an order right here place an order place an order check availability place an order all right it's gonna say ordered but what happened when I it I need to like you know mark it as received when I get the parts from the from AutoZone for example really simple you can click on the job itself in menu and mark as received that way you know the other computers can see oh we already get the parts or you can click on individual and click right there and you can switch it you see we have all these options right here um, shipped uh, in stock if you want update after you click update switch it um, or just you know received in this case we just got the part so so that's one thing. Another thing we'll talk about as you start building an invoice, it automatically expand now. Not just that, we will be adding the option to if you want it to be like this all the time, it will be under invoice setting that's coming up soon. It's not there yet. But if you want to start an estimate, let's say if I go back to this estimate, it's going to be automatically like this. Let me go back here as I open it, it's already right this why okay first of all the information are up top right if I need to change anything just click down and you know I can change whatever I want or if I need the email or if I need the other phone number and just click up to go back up so you know it this is it's gonna be more for like busy shops where they're concentrating so much on on the invoice and the estimate itself right we want to build a big estimate big invoice that that will give you more room and easy on the eye all right let's go ahead and um, clear that up i'm trying to remember what else i want to show you all right um if you go right here so let me see if i have an invoice right here so there's an invoice right there so if i go to mark i think i don't, I don't know if i talked about that but if I go to mark right here and uh, click on the Grand Cherokee all right first of all there are six invoices right there so remember that so create it's gonna tell me hey there's an invoice too you want to go to the invoice I can click on that and it should directly take me to that which is cool um, another thing I want to talk about is if when when I go to uh, general inventory right here inventory general inventory and that happens a lot let's say I need wipers oh well I need to I need to update the inventory you can go from here directly modify general inventory and then it brings you here so it's super fast and one of the most important things actually if if you go right here 
and look service history and then I want to edit this invoice before you couldn't you gotta go to uh, you gotta go to daily report not anymore just click on the menu right here click on edit invoice you will need the passcode type in the passcode and then after you change whatever um, it'll tell you who, who changed it too so let's do this again let's type in um, it's already open now um, let me go back if I can do this again um, edit invoice we're gonna bring Sam and let Sam change do some changes right here let's say Sam deleted the job and then pay invoice and did a refund right if we go to uh, show activities we're gonna see Sam did this stuff so we know who did what all right exit exit close what else want to talk about I'm trying to remember um, obviously right here when you search for an invoice um, if you search for an in progress I believe one one seven zero five eight It's gonna give you the option take me there and it takes you there um another thing what else what else did I do try to remember yes so the last thing I want to talk about is uh, when you have uh, the my the printing all change sticker to this mode now you can print to the key tag and actually it's really beautiful i don't know if i can bring it and show you how that look like let me see if i can bring myself here all right that is the new this is the new all right well it looks really good, I must say. All right, appreciate it, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.